Hey guys, I, uh, I don't really know how I'm going to make this video, but, uh, I'm just gonna try to be as candid as possible with you, and go from there, and, uh, if there's any stumbling or anything, we just, we'll have to have rough cuts, and, but hopefully I can get the message across well. Um, uh, on the night of January 1st, sometime in the evening, um, Ripley passed on from this world comfortably in my arms, looking in my eyes while she breathed her last breath and closed her eyes for the last time. And I've been kind of beside myself for the last week and I didn't know how to tell you guys because it was so, so incredibly, incredibly out of the blue and unexpected. She was, I had just seen her an hour beforehand and she was perfectly fine, you know, we hopping around all over the cage just like normal. Um, I had been sick for the past week and I hadn't gotten to spend much time with her and hadn't make a video, so I spent some time in my room for about an hour until I decided maybe it was time to make a new video for everybody and when I came out uh, to go check on her and get her, she was clinging to life and died very shortly afterwards with me not hardly having time to react. And uh, I've been pretty, uh, I've been pretty beside myself for the last week, like I said, since it happened. And I'm filming this now on Saturday. I'm not sure when I'm gonna put it out because I'm not sure exactly what is gonna happen. And I'm trying very hard to concentrate. I'm not uh, hyperventilating right now and turning into a mess. Uh, this is the first time I've convulsed myself long enough to talk about it for this length of time. And I know how much you guys loved her and cared about her as much as I did. And being such a cautious a knowledgeable person such as myself, I can't help but try to beat myself up on a lot of things. And I know that I've I've done everything I've could I could for her. And my best guess is it was just some sort of freak accident or something that was completely unnoticeable. Um, she's never had any health problems. I take her to the vet fairly regularly. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm very much rambling right now, but I'll update more in the future. But uh, I care so much about you guys and your viewership, and I can't tell you how much the channel means to me, and how much each of you mean to me, and how much you meant to Ripley and I. And I've lost just about the only thing I have left, or had left. You know, when uh, she was always there for me. She was always faithful to me. She was faithful to me even when the person I loved most in the world wasn't. And when I had nothing, I had her. And so much has been taken from me in the past few years. And really, uh, Ripley, Ripley and the channel have kept me going, to be quite honest with you. Um, I do know one thing that I've loved Toucan since I was just a little kid in eighth grade, reading about them in books. 
and it's actually kind of funny that uh, the video I was going to film next I was finally going to give in and do a Fruit Loops video. This is the this is the bowl I had when I was a kid. This was my first toucan thing. Uh, what I'm trying to say is the channel will continue. Um, I've I'll, I've already wanted to announce that I was thinking about getting another member to our flock in some capacity. Um, obviously this is something I don't really want to think about at the moment. I guess she's completely irreplaceable to me and I'm sure all of you guys and she will never be replaced. But I do know that my passion is with the channel. I've been doing YouTube now for some at some capacity for going on seven years now, eight years almost. And I just, I love them so incredibly much. And it brings so much happiness to me to see you guys learn to love them as much as I have. And although she's gone, her legacy will live on. Um, I have decided that I didn't want to just bury her like a normal pet, like in a shoebox in your backyard or something like that. Um, what I want to do is uh, preserve her skeletal remains. Um, it might sound odd, but they're fairly rare specimens to have in archives and I can't think of a better way to honor her legacy and to immortalize her as an educational tool for her kind than to have her skeleton mounted and donated to a museum or zoo um, so that people can learn about toucans for generations to come and hopefully it can inspire them to have a passion for them and want to conserve them and protect them from the illegal pet trade, for instance, in the future. And uh, to be quite honest with you guys, um, this is mostly what I've been doing has been this channel for work. It takes up about 75% of my income. And I do want to continue the channel like I said, but I need time to process everything. And in the meantime, I just want to work on remembering Ripley and all the good that she's brought and joy the people that she's bought, brought. Especially to myself. Um, what I'm going to be doing is taking all the patron, patrons donations for the foreseeable future and putting them towards having that, um, having that everything mounted and a short memorial and dedication from me and all of you guys to her, um, along with that before we donate it to wherever it may end up. And I want to put that to a vote, and if any of you work at or have any suggestions about where might be a good place, please let me know. Um, in addition to the patron, Patreon account, excuse me. Um, I, I think I'm going to set up a GoFundMe for this. I'm not sure exactly how much it's going to cost, but like I said, it, they are pretty rare to have uh, specimens of their skeletons and really it just it gives me great peace and puts me at ease to think about doing this that she will 
continue what she was meant for, even in the afterlife. And so that link's going to be GoFundMe.com slash Remembering Ripley. And then Patreon's the same as it's always been. I'll put a link in the description. And um, I've set up an email account, Ripley at Toucan.tv as well. So if you want to send your emails in um, and thoughts about her, I think what I might do is do a live stream and just talk to you guys and answer your questions and read off some of the letters and we can all just remember her together. And I know she was just a bird. I know many people say that, but And many people say this too, but she genuinely felt like she was my child, and I'm going to miss her. I thought one day that uh, I'd be able to introduce her to my own children. And I just want to honor her after death. Um, I'll continue updating you guys in the future, of course, through Instagram and, and on here. I thank you so much. I really can't thank you guys enough. You're amazing. I never thought that I'd have an opportunity to be my own Steve Irwin in a sense. <laughs> but for two cans. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I can continue doing that. Um, I think with the remainder of whatever from GoFundMe and Patreon for the foreseeable future, um, I'm going, well, like I said, we're going to donate it to the having everything mounted and memorialized, and then whatever the remainder may be, I'll set aside to add another member of our flock sometime in the future. I don't know when, and I honestly don't want to think about it right now. But I love, I love doing this. I really do. It brings me such happiness and purpose like never before. And birds are my passion. I love toucans so much. It hurts. It hurts to lose Ripley. She was an amazing ambassador for her kind. And she's lived a life that many human... Heck, I'm, I'm envious of her life. She has been in a... She's been on several TV shows around the world. Millions of people have watched and enjoyed her. People know her name on Reddit. She was in an Iggy Azalea music video, and Iggy and her crew knew her by name. That's amazing. She's been from as far south as New Orleans to Nebraska and Colorado all the way to Los Angeles, to Orlando and Connecticut. She's lived the life of a rock star, and she deserved it. Again, I apologize for this rambling. If you ever wanted to see a grown six foot six man cry on camera, then <laughs> now's your opportunity. <laughs> but, um, Please just share your favorite videos of Ripley or tell me what they are and like I said you don't have to donate. I'm not one to usually beg for money or anything. Usually the ad revenue is enough. I probably won't monetize this video just out of respect. But um, and I really need you guys' help to be quite honest. And you guys have been so helpful so far, and I just feel bad for asking it, but I really do. And I, I thank you so much for your love and dedication to Ripley and I. And um, I think also what I'm going to do to those who have donated on GoFundMe, um, $50 and up, and as well as, I think I already have patr patrons that are donating close to that so I don't want to burn them in any way 
But anybody that does either one on, Patre on Patreon or GoFundMe, while I can, because this will be finite, I will send you one of Ripley's feathers and a short letter of gratitude from us. And I know it's not much, but I'm slightly inspired by the way that the ancient uh, Mayans and South American peoples would use toucan feathers as a sign, or, you know, like any Native American culture, they usually use all part of the animal. And they would use their toucan feathers as part of their headdress, and it was a sign of prosperity and um, health. And to have part of her with you guys as well, to remember her by, is it would just mean so much to me. I know I'm not making a lot of sense right now, I'm so sorry. Um, this is probably the first time in a while I haven't been hyperventilating, so uh, I'm kind of proud of myself for that. And a little disgusted at myself for trying to use humor to cheer myself up. <laughs> um, also, I, do, I did film a video, actually, shortly before she passed, and... Um, I wasn't really happy with how it turned out, but I think I'm going to go ahead and post it. Um, and then I have a lot of private and personal videos as well that I've kept and shared on it. Snapchat and things like that. Um, that I'd like to continue to share as well. In the meantime, while we continue to mourn her and memorialize her. And hey guys, I apologize. I had to cut the... I had to cut the last video a little bit short. Um... It's been a couple days now since I filmed that part, and um, have a little bit of an update. So I, fin I figured I'd just finish off the video like like this, and um, just let you guys know that um, I uh, sorry um, I shipped her body off to the facility that's going to um, do the work with uh, everything I've talked about before and um, um, also I've uh, we figured out what was what had happened to her it seems like she had a Basically, her heart just failed, and I'm not sure whether it's genetic or what, but it explains why it was so sudden and why there was no signs of anything happening, and um, or of anything wrong, rather, which is pretty interesting, considering uh, I was actually born with several congenital heart defects, and I've had five open heart surgeries, and uh, I don't know if you can see my scar there. <sighs> Sorry, um, I had actually had plans to have her given to uh, a zoo for educational use in case I had met an early end because of my problems so I'm sorry uh, this is going to be a really difficult time for me uh, I hope the video is coherent and makes sense and I apologize guys um, when I have more clarity of mind in the future we can talk more about everything and I just really need to get these, get through these next few weeks, and um, unfortunately it was kind of expensive to have her body overnighted to them, and honestly guys, I, you know I don't ever really ask for much in the channel, I mean we have a Patreon, but I don't push it that much, but I do really need you guys' help. Um, I'm normally just consent with making the ad revenue, and 
that sort of thing and, and just uh, letting everything else up to you. If you like the video, you'll subscribe, so I don't normally feel like I need to beg for that sort of thing, but um, anyways, thanks again. Um, you can, like I said before, you can donate through GoFundMe, uh, gofundme.com slash rememberingripley, all one word, and then our normal Patreon. And um, if you would like to send your thoughts or prayers or whatever um, to ripley at toucan.tv through email or just leave a comment on here on Instagram. And, um, I don't, you know, it's, I, I really don't know how to react to this sort of thing, if I'm being quite honest. Um, usually, uh, I would spend time with Ripley, and, you know, like I've said before, I've gone through a lot, and in the past, even before all this, and, I'm so thankful for her, you know, I, I, I can't, I can't say that, I can't say that I would still be around today if not for her, to be quite honest with you. And, um, I just really need you guys' support, even if it's not monetary, you know. Um, anyways, please stay tuned on here or on Instagram. And I'll keep you guys updated. And thank you so much again.